Across the country, government is dealing a one-two punch to property rights and free speech. Using sign codes, cities are demanding that large signs protesting eminent domain abuse be taken down. Now, these signs are an important means of political protest for property owners at risk. Property owners like Jim Roos in St. Louis and Bob Wilson in Norfolk, Virginia. Jim lost many properties to eminent domain abuse, so he decided to paint a large mural on the side of his building protesting this abuse of power. Bob placed a large banner on his property when his company was threatened. Both cities said that their signs violated city sign codes and the government ordered that they be taken down. IJ fought and won on Jim's behalf in federal court. But much more work needs to be done nationwide to defend this kind of important political protest. All of our constitutional rights are intertwined. Free speech rights are essential to protect other rights, including our property rights. And when we lose our property rights, as Jim and Bob have seen, we can lose our free speech rights. That's why the courts must enforce constitutional limits on government power, so folks like Jim and Bob can speak out and defend what is rightfully theirs. Their signs have earned considerable local support and given their cause the attention that it deserves. And if victims of eminent domain abuse can't speak out against it, who can? One of the main reasons we have inconsistent and unconstitutional sign codes is a divided U.S. Supreme Court decision from 30 years ago. The Metro Media case created confusion in the lower courts about how sign codes should be written and interpreted. Bureaucrats are taking advantage of this confusion to regulate and ultimately stifle speech. When government can regulate speech, it can censor speech that it doesn't like. Ironically, in the infamous Kelo eminent domain case, the Supreme Court recognized that citizens could still urge the government to reform eminent domain laws through political protest. But local governments are now using sign regulations to deny citizens the ability to participate in that debate. In our nation, government's not supposed to have that power. Our property rights and free speech rights deserve greater legal protection. IJ aims to set a legal precedent for sign regulations that protects your right to speak out on your own property. Our goal is to earn a singular and clear ruling from the High Court to better guide lawmakers in crafting sign laws that respect each citizen's constitutional rights. After all, every American has the right to speak truth to power.